special guests and the TI retirees and, and so forth. Uh, it is really a great, great thing to have everybody here. This was a quote of surprise to Jack. I'm convinced Jack's never been surprised in his life. <laughs> I think he knows everything, but uh, we, uh, I think it's uh, universally felt that we didn't want to just let Jack go off to Sweden with his family without a warm send-off from Texas Instruments and its employees, and so that's why we're here today. I think that everyone would agree that, uh, that uh, winning the Nobel Prize is an inconceivable award for, for any of the people in this room, perhaps, but one, and I think it's well deserved after 42 years. I think it's a great honor in an individual. And quite frankly, we need to thank Jack because it brings far more honor, inspiration, publicity, and value to Texas Instruments than I think he even believes. And we owe him great thanks for bringing that honor on to Texas Instruments. I think the award exemplifies the the innovation, the creativity that has driven Texas Instruments for 70 years. And there's a long list of great innovation in this company, and I think this is just a perfect cap on, on what's happened there. You've all read about Jack, and many of you here, I can see, know him very well. Jack is uh, probably one of the most humble individuals you'll ever meet. And when you put it in context of what he has done for the world, uh, I think it's almost incredible. Uh, here, <laughs> to have someone uh, answer the question, Jack, how does it feel to have invented something that truly changed the world and, in fact, affected the lives of billions of people and probably maybe biased, have more impact on the world going forward than any other invention that we've seen in recent times. And his response is, well, I just was working on something on how to make electronics more effective. I think that sums it up very well. But what he's created today in those 42 years is an industry that this year will be about $200 billion, and as I mentioned, affects literally billions of people. We have been going through things, Jack, inside TI since this award was announced that I never anticipated we would ever see in terms of the, the thrill, excitement, the buzz in the hallways. And those hallways, I'm told, don't just mean the campus here in Dallas, but all the way on the top of the mountain in the Philippines. And one of the things that we wanted to do is give you a little bit of something to carry around, keep your arms strong. And so we've created a little memory book. And uh, the good news is uh, uh, it's carryable. The bad news is it's not finished yet because every time we complete putting messages in it, we get another hundred or so. Oh, that's sweet. So I want to show you this is something that starts with the board of directors' comments, the leadership team. TIers all over the world in every site is coming in and making comments to Jack on this award. And as I mentioned, we can't stop the press, but we have to at least stop the book temporarily <laughs> and hand it to you. So on behalf of 37,000 TIers uh, and I think a lot of other friends that are here today, we want to wish you the best as you go to Sweden. And, and allow you to take this with you and use it as a memento of our appreciation. Well, thank you very much, Tom. Uh, the Nobel Award is a great honor. And it's one I think I share with all of you because uh, TI has had a very direct role in this from the beginning. I think it most unlikely that I would have had the same success at any other company. And uh, that feeling from 1958 has continued. Uh, it's still a great company. 
and uh, uh, they're very good people to be with, and I'm glad to be with you today. Thank you. Thank you.